I am very lucky to have inherited all these beautiful antique Ikebana and containers from my mother-in-law. Um, she was an Ikebana master. She studied it for 40 years. Now, I have not studied that much Ikebana, but I do love to play around with her containers. I wanted to show you this very unique container. Now, this is what they call an elephant leg bamboo container. So you can see why they call an ele elephant leg. It sort of gets bigger at the bottom. And this is made from one piece of bamboo. They cut out the middle part and um, they also hollowed it out and put a little container in there. Now this is a two tier container. There is a, a hole up here for flowers and there one in, there's one in here for flowers. I'm just gonna show you an arrangement in this lower um, opening. What I have in here is a watertight container with a small piece of floral foam in here. Now I have not studied Ikebana, so all of you who are Ikebana masters and use Kenzons, don't send me a mean comment. I'm using floral foam. I just want to show you an Ikebana inspired arrangement. Okay. I do have a lot of Kenzons, but I'm going to show you something um, using floral foam because, you know, that's how it's, it's hard to use a Kenzon. Now, I was at Trader Joe's this morning, and they had these beautiful protea bunches. Now, this is a protea bouquet, two large proteas and two smaller ones with some seed of eucalyptus. This was $6.99. So I thought, I saw this and I go, I think I have the perfect vessel for this, uh, for these flowers. And then I purchased a bunch of uh, hypericum berries in this sort of peachy color that I love and this was only $3.99. So for $11, we can probably do a really interesting arrangement. So let's get started. So I unpackaged the bunches and we got two really beautiful large protea. I think I'm gonna start with these. These are kind of like the big focal point for our arrangement. This is really very inexpensive, $6.99 for two of these with Cedar eucalyptus and some other um, accents. Um, Cause usually at the flower market per stem, they're like $4.50, $5.50. I'm gonna cut this pretty short. Oh my gosh, it's hard to cut. I don't work very often with Protea. So this is kind of a treat for me. So I'm gonna put one here. Then I'm gonna cut another one. I'm cutting it pretty short because we're gonna have this arrangement fit um, in that middle opening part of the vessel. There's another one here. Okay. Then I'm going to use some of this uh, Cedar Eucalyptus. This is really nice. I think that'd be beautiful with this. Turn around so you can see. See, it's already taking shape. It looks great already. Okay. Then I'm going to use some of these accent. Remember to always remove foliage that's going to be below the waterline, whether in the foam or in a vase. Now this is going to be a one-sided arrangement, obviously. Okay, there we have it. I like that little bit of dark burgundy to go with the pinks. Then I'm just going to add in a little bit of these uh, hypericum berries. I like that pop of like salmony, peachy color. I think I might cut a little bit of this eucalyptus to use in the back of the arrangement just to cover some of the foam. And I think we have too much of it cascading down the front. I'm gonna cut a little bit of here. There we go. There we go. Now 
I could imagine succulents in here as well. Add another one of these here. They come out. See if we need one more hypericon berry here. There we go. And this is my interpretation of an Ikebana style arrangement with beautiful protea, seeda uh, eucalyptus, and hypericon berries. This couldn't be simpler, but because we have this dramatic vessel here, this will be a really, really gorgeous uh, arrangement in your house. Um, so always be on the lookout for interesting containers. And I will show you in this series of videos all these beautiful Ikebana Asian style containers that I have where you don't need a lot of flowers to make a very dramatic high style design arrangement. Um, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from you and I will see you in my next video.